I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Is there any significance about the verse Acts chapter 8 verse 37 being omitted from many translations of God's word? Well, this is an insightful question because there are a select number of verses within your New Testament, Acts 8 37 being one, Matthew 17 21 is one, Matthew 18 chapter 11, uh, Mark chapter 9 verse 44 and 46. There's a host of these verses that many uh, what we might call modern translations do not include. Now, if you go back and study in your Bible, many times there'll be an asterisk there, parentheses there, or just the total absence of, but there will always be a notation, typically with a statement like this, that the oldest and quote, most reliable manuscripts do not contain this verse. Now, again, we could spend an entire hour on the subject matter, but allow me to make things somewhat overly simplistic. Why would Acts 8.37 be omitted? Acts 8.37 is the confirmation by Philip that the Ethiopian eunuch believes in the Lord Jesus Christ before he is baptized. Why would Matthew 18.11 be omitted? That's the statement that Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. Why would Mark 9, 44 and 46 be omitted, which talks about residents in hell and the burning and the gnashing of the teeth that are involved there? And why would these be omitted? Well, an overly simplistic response is this, is that many of the quote-unquote religious systems of these textual variants are man-based, works-based systems. If you remove Acts 8.37 from the book of Acts, then you see baptism as a work and not an outward expression of a faith that's already been expressed. If you remove Matthew 18, 11 from scripture, again, you get this works-based mentality, not that it's Christ Jesus alone. And that's the problem. Religion wants to teach us we have to do something to earn God's favor or merit. Relationship is it's all based in our trust that he has satisfied the conditions of our sin problem. And so again, these verses, if you'll look at the ones that are omitted, Oftentimes, if not every time, there's an element of removing a faith alone and allowing works base to rise to the surface. Again, we could go for a long time researching where these texts came from, uh, shall we say, the motivation behind them and such. These verses, faith, 837, faith, Matthew 17, 21, Christ alone, Matthew 18, 11, are very critical to understanding the whole gospel message. And yes, I believe there is textual evidence they should be there. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.